An estimated 30 million people in the United States take a medicine called an NSAID each day. That's because NSAIDs are so effective in alleviating everyday pain and discomfort. NSAIDs stand for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. These are anti-inflammatory medicines, medicines which decrease inflammation, are typically used to treat pain, arthritis, um, commonly taken for uh, either the short term or the long term. The most widely known NSAID is aspirin. Ibuprofen is another sold under brand names including Motrin and Advil. Naproxen is sold as Aleve. Ketoprofen is sold as Orudis and Oravel. Stronger versions of these drugs, as well as many others, are sold by prescription. Most NSAIDs have stomach side effects because they decrease your body's natural protection against acid in the gastrointestinal tract. Well, NSAIDs work because they target an enzyme that can do bad things as well as good things. Now, the bad things that that enzyme can do is to make inflammation and pain. One of the good things that it does is to protect the lining of the stomach and intestines. So if you block that enzyme, you get less pain and inflammation, but you're also not protecting your stomach and intestines nearly so well. The most common side effects include mild stomach upset, sometimes called dyspepsia, and acid indigestion. The indigestion, we as physicians tend to think of that as a minor side effect. No, if you're the one experiencing the indigestion, you probably don't think of it as a minor side effect. But what we really worry about with the NSAIDs are the ulcers that can occur, which can cause some very serious complications, like bleeding or even perforation of the stomach. These ulcers are more common than many people realize. Often, there's no warning. Unfortunately, approximately 80% of patients who come in with a complication don't have any prior symptoms. But if a patient starts to complain of stomach pain, if they see dark stool, change in the color of their stool, or if they start to experience vomiting, they should definitely consult their physician. They may have a potential complication. When thinking about ulcers and complications of ulcers, they can occur in as many as 1 in 20 people who take NSAIDs. Um, we've seen across the spectrum of, of looking at populations of individuals who take NSAIDs, as many as 4%, 5% of people who take the older class of NSAIDs, um, for example, ibuprofen or naproxen, um, could experience a, a serious problem such as a gastrointestinal bleed. Again, deep breath. Some people are more likely than others to experience problems. And again, people who are at highest risk for developing a complication from taking NSAIDs are those over the age of 60, those who've had a previous history of having a problem with their stomach or intestine when they're taking these medicines, patients who are taking multiple different NSAIDs, patients who are taking steroids along with their NSAIDs, and patients who are taking blood thinners as well. How can a person reduce his risk? First, you should ask your doctor. Probably the best way to prevent yourself from getting an NSAID complication is not to take an NSAID. Some mild forms of pain, particularly pain without inflammation, can be handled by using acetaminophen, or Tylenol is one of the common uh, trade names for that medicine. Uh, acetaminophen is not a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug and does not have a risk of developing uh, these ulcers. Acetaminophen carries different risks. It is important to discuss this with your doctor. And NSAIDs are often necessary. So what can people do to be as safe as possible? One strategy is for patients to make sure they do not take more than they realize. That can happen easily, for NSAIDs are common ingredients in cold medicines. And so it's very important that patients read labels, especially for the over-the-counter products, and to recognize whether or not there are combined ingredients within the over-the-counter products. Having multiple health care providers can also lead to multiple NSAIDs. They also often will go to different doctors for different medical problems and receive different drugs from different providers. So they may end up taking two drugs that are both NSAIDs and not realize that they're taking both of them or be taking the over-the-counter medications such as Advil and then receive prescription ibuprofen from their physician and essentially be taking a higher dose of the drug. Some physicians believe that some NSAIDs are safer than others in terms of serious gastrointestinal side effects, but the FDA requires that all prescription NSAIDs carry the same GI warning about these risks. Another approach to reducing GI risk is to take another drug called a PPI, or proton pump inhibitor, with your NSAID to block the production of acid in the stomach. These drugs also carry some risk, so talk to your doctor about this option.
Acid blockers are medications that patients can take to reduce symptoms of heartburn. They also reduce the amount of acid that's produced in the stomach. And these agents, known as proton pump inhibitors, can be quite effective in reducing the risk of ulceration in patients who need non or aspirin on a long-term basis. Side effects from NSAIDs are not limited to gastrointestinal problems. They can affect the kidney and can increase risk of heart attack or stroke. That's a confusing finding since low-dose aspirin has the opposite effect. Just another reason why it's important for patients to discuss their use of NSAIDs with their doctors. We want to achieve uh, a balance in benefits and risk. NSAIDs are very effective for uh, managing pain, uh, for treating inflammation, but they, they have risk. We don't want to alarm the patients excessively about these risks to the extent that they don't take the medicines as they need it for controlling their pain, controlling their inflammation, controlling their arthritis. But at the same time, they need to, to be aware of the risk. And so what we're trying to do is strike a balance between the benefits and the risk.